Well, Brandon, biologists were out on the water today gathering data on all the dead fish. Now, exactly what caused the fish kill is still being investigated, but biologists tell me they think it's due to a water quality issue. I am 100% confident that this is not the culprit, that the P Street treatment plant did not have anything to do with the fish kill. Lance McAvoy is the Fort Smith Water and Utilities Director. He says this waterway is not a named creek, but it's where treated sewage is released back into the environment. We call it an outfall because that's the technical term for it, is an outfall. It, it's, it's flowing out of the plant into the Arkansas River. Starting Monday night, hundreds of dead fish were seen floating on the water. The game warden we called about it was concerned enough to start an investigation into what happened. Today, biologists with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission were on the water gathering more information. They say early estimates show more than 1,000 fish died, mainly channel catfish. Biologists say the fish kill was isolated to this specific area and not widespread on the Arkansas River. The State Division of Environmental Quality will have the final ruling, but Biologists say it appears the fish died due to a water quality issue. Other than the dead fish, everything points to the water is safe and it's healthy. McAvoy says the P Street wastewater treatment plant handles up to 83 million gallons of sewage, making it safe before it's released and sent down the river. So this is one of two. This is the state of the art. It is a what's known as a contact stabilization activated sludge plant. And I'm not going to go into the science. Just know that you got little bugs that eat the, the waste that we put down the drain and then it cleans it to a point that when we discharge it to the river, a lot of times what we're putting back in the river is cleaner than what's in the river itself. McAvoy says the state inspected the facility within the last month and found no violations. And even though the treatment facility would be the first suspect for causing the fish kill, McAvoy says right now, there's no evidence of that. The permit that we have is to make sure that what we're putting out doesn't impact the environment. Um, I've actually shared a lot of that data with the Arkansas Division of Environmental Quality today. Um, we have been in permit compliance the entire period that the, uh, the fish kill occurred. So we have no reason, no evidence, nothing to believe that it's caused by anything that came out of our plant. Now tonight we're waiting to hear back from the Division of Environmental Quality about what they've learned by doing those water tests. Again, biologists could only tell us they think the fish died to poor water quality. Now biologists did say they think whatever caused the fish's death, that they think that's moved on from here and that today they did see lots of live other fish and other animals in the water and tonight most of the dead fish have now floated out towards the main river channel uh, tonight at six what biologists say happens to them next live in fort smith brett rains 4029 news